What if the stars could scream? Gamma ray bursts, GRBS, are the universe's hidden scream so loud and violent that they could shake the space itself. These cosmic explosions release more energy in a few seconds than the sun will in its entire lifetime. Yet they happen in the blink of an eye. They are brief flashes, too quick to notice, too powerful to ignore. What happens when one of these cosmic bombs gets too close? Could Earth survive the devastation they bring? Let's unravel the mysteries of GRBS and explore the different intensities that lie within their explosive power, from soft pulses to apocalyptic bursts. Level zero, it's there, a hum, soft, persistent. The stars pulse, radiating their energy into the vast void. Gamma ray bursts are the universe's quiet whisper, unseen, unnoticed, yet always present. Each second, cosmic rays from distant supernovas and black hole births streak through space, carrying more energy than we can fathom. These gamma rays are the most powerful type of radiation. Traveling at the speed of light, they move unstoppable, like silent messengers across the universe. Yet we are protected. The Earth's thick atmosphere shields us from the invisible bombardment, like an invisible force field, soaking up the energy before it touches us. You never see it, you never feel it, but it's there, every second, everywhere you go. The most surprising thing, we live beneath this constant drizzle of gamma radiation, harmless for now, but what if the distance between us and the stars suddenly shrank? Level one, imagine it, a soft flash, barely noticeable, a flicker in the distance, so brief, you might miss it if you blink. This is the first level of gamma ray bursts, subtle, gentle bursts of energy, these softer bursts don't burn through space like a wrecking ball. Instead, they offer a quiet display of cosmic power. Gamma rays, released from collapsing stars or cosmic jets, last for milliseconds to seconds. They flash across the universe, igniting the atmosphere of distant planets, just like a brief burning star. They're not strong enough to rip through our atmosphere, but their beauty lies in their potential each one a glimpse into a universe that holds unimaginable force. Astronomers detect these soft bursts with the help of space-based telescopes. They can be measured, catalogued, but not felt. They hold no immediate threat, only a reminder of how small we are, looking up at the vastness above. Level two, now it's different. The bursts aren't just flashes anymore. They're pulsing, flashing, filling the sky with their light. Meteor-like streaks in the heavens, only brighter, faster, Moderate gamma ray bursts are like fireworks on a galactic scale. The intensity has increased. The energy released is so strong, it outshines whole galaxies for brief moments. One of the brightest GRBs, GRB 080319b, was visible to the naked eye as bright as the full moon for a few minutes. These bursts travel at speeds so fast they appear to move almost instantaneously yet leave behind a trail of light that stretches across light years. The debris of dying stars and colliding neutron stars ignite these bursts, energy swirling from the depths of collapsing supernovae. Though these bursts are still not enough to cause damage on Earth, they reveal how powerful the universe is, capable of such violent cosmic flashes. Level 3 At level 3, the flashes become more than just light. They become blinding. Fireballs of gamma rays, so intense that they outshine the sun. For a moment, the night sky is illuminated, not by stars, but by a burst so bright it feels like daylight. These gamma bursts can release up to 1,000 giga electron volts, a hundred times the energy of the X-rays we know. And when they burst, it's like a cosmic explosion, a flash so powerful that it can be seen over entire continents. One of the most famous, GRB. 130427A released more energy in one second than the sun will emit during its entire 10 billion year life cycle. The burst lit up the sky, visible to astronomers across the world, shaking space telescopes with the sheer force of its energy. Imagine watching it, a single flare, so bright it could light up the whole planet. And yet, despite this power, the distance between us and these bursts means we still aren't directly threatened. But the closer these bursts are, the more we realize the danger they pose. Level 4. Now the flash isn't just light, it's a blow to the universe. A cosmic fist, cataclysmic gamma ray bursts have the potential to wreak havoc if they're close enough. The burst from GRB 080916C reached over 12 billion light years. Its gamma rays illuminated the universe 
so intense they could have destroyed Earth's ozone layer if the burst had been much closer. At this level, the burst radiates so much energy, it could unleash a chain reaction, affecting everything in its path. Imagine the force, an energy release equivalent to 100,000 supernovae, all happening in one fraction of a second. This intense energy would burn through everything, atmosphere, ozone, living organisms. If one of these bursts hit close to Earth, life as we know it would be eradicated. Yet despite the raw power of these bursts, we still exist, protected by distance, by time. But the planet's vulnerability becomes evident. A close encounter could spell disaster. Level 5 At level 5, we come face to face with the ultimate cosmic apocalypse, an event so destructive it would alter life on Earth forever. Gamma ray bursts at this level release enough energy to wipe out entire ecosystems to cause global mass extinction. If a burst as powerful as GRB 030329 hit Earth, the result would be nothing short of apocalyptic. These events happen when a supernova explodes or when neutron stars collide, unleashing beams of gamma rays that pierce space like cosmic bullets. The radiation released from these events is enough to fry an atmosphere, strip away the protective ozone layer, and flood Earth with ultraviolet radiation the kind that can burn everything in its path. The planet would be scorched, life unable to survive without protection. Humanity wouldn't stand a chance. The effects could last centuries as the planet slowly heals from the aftershocks of cosmic fire. And yet, despite these catastrophic possibilities, we remain untouched thanks to the vast distances that separate us from these violent cosmic forces. Level 6. Far beyond what we can grasp in the silent void of space, there are bursts that race, faster than thought itself, unfathomable, tearing through the endless dark. These are the hypervelocity bursts, not a slow dance of light, but a cosmic sprint. 70 kilometers per second, faster than a blink, faster than the speed of sound, and then some. 157,000 miles per hour, a relentless streak of cosmic fire burning, tearing, screaming across the heavens. In the instant they appear, they are firestorms. Not merely flashes, but shockwaves of energy, the likes of which we can't comprehend. These bursts release energy so intense, it's as if the suns might packed into a moment, an explosion of light that shatters everything in its path. If one of these bursts were to come too close, closer than a thousand light years, it could fry the skies, strip away the ozone, open the door to unbearable radiation, the ground would shake, the atmosphere would burn, and what we thought was safe would be consumed. Hypervelocity bursts are far away, but the closer they get, the closer we come to destruction. Level 7. Now the sky grows darker, reality takes shape. These bursts are no longer just flashes of distant light. They are the collisions, the explosions, the heart-stopping force of cosmic impact. Somewhere far out in space, neutron stars collide unleashing gamma rays in a pulse. So intense, so powerful, that if they were near us, we'd feel them. A cosmic punch, sudden and violent, a shockwave across the fabric of space, breaking open the ozone, flooding the Earth with radiation. Once, long ago, a massive asteroid collided with Earth, wiping out life as we know it, an extinction event that still echoes. What if the next gamma ray burst comes from the core of a star's death? A burst so powerful it could burn the sky, shatter the atmosphere, leaving the Earth vulnerable, just like that asteroid from another age. We track the cosmic debris, but sometimes the dangers slip by unnoticed. An explosion in the distant dark that could one day bring us closer to the edge. Level 8 At level 8, the sky becomes a firestorm, the ultimate gamma ray burst. An explosion of energy that would make the heavens themselves tremble. Picture it a star collapsing in on itself, or two neutron stars merging in a cosmic fury. They discharge their energy, a flash so intense, it would be as if the sun itself had exploded. All the light, all the heat, released in one blinding moment. This burst could ignite the skies, burn away the atmosphere, and send a storm of radiation crashing to the surface. We wouldn't see it coming, and by the time we did, the Earth would already be scorched. A global darkness would follow as the ozone layer is wiped away. Fires would rage. The Earth would stumble through its final hours. Mass extinction in an instant. Life as we know it, snuffed out by a single spark. The universe would continue, indifferent to our loss. 
as if the Earth were no more than a fleeting shadow. These apocalyptic bursts are not just cosmic accidents, they are warnings of how fragile we truly are. Level 9, then comes the big one, a collision so vast, so devastating, that it would tear through everything we know. Imagine an asteroid, a comet, huge, bigger than anything we've ever seen, racing through space at impossible speeds. The impact would be a cataclysm, not just a flash in the sky, but a global firestorm, tsunamis that drown cities, earthquakes shaking the very ground we stand on. The world would fall apart, not in an instant, but in a long, agonizing collapse. If a gamma-ray burst of this magnitude hit Earth, it would destroy everything. Atmospheres torn apart, radiation flooding the surface. The world would be plunged into darkness. A nuclear winter with no sun to warm us, no crops to harvest, no hope. Only silence, but we are not helpless. Space agencies are racing to detect these cosmic threats. Asteroids are being tracked. Neutron stars monitored, potential impacts mapped. We try to deflect, but the big one is out of our control. And sometimes, even the most advanced technology can't stop a collision that could end everything. Level 10. And then, beyond the flashes, the explosions, the collisions, there's the unimaginable, the very end of the universe itself. A cosmic finale that defies comprehension, something far beyond gamma rays, beyond anything we can grasp. Scientists whisper of the Big Rip, an event where the universe tears itself apart. Imagine dark energy pulling everything, stars, galaxies, even atoms, into chaos. A universe unraveling, disintegrating into nothingness. Or perhaps, the heat death. A universe expanding, so cold, so still, that stars burn out and the cosmos falls into a quiet, eternal darkness. The end of time, the end of everything. Far, far away, but still, a distant possibility. The universe, in its eternal march, can fade into cold nothingness. The cosmos that gave birth to life might one day end it. Not with a bang, but with silence. From the soft flickers of distant light to the apocalyptic blasts that could end life on Earth, GRBs remind us of the raw power of the cosmos. We're just a fragile blue dot floating in the middle of a cosmic storm, a whisper away from oblivion. We are safe for now, but the universe continues to burst and blaze while we sit unaware beneath the silent sky. Until the next flash, until the next burst, and when that moment comes, will we be prepared or will we remain silent too, just another speck in the void, awaiting our inevitable fate? Only time will tell, as we drift even closer to the unknown.